So here we know it is time into speed. So the time is 0 0.53 into speed, which is 4. 0 0.53 into 4 will be around 2.13. But I think I did something wrong. <laughs> Just a minute. I'm two point one two. No, no, no! I did something wrong. Hmm. All of you all got this answer? Ma'am, I got uh, 2.1. Yeah, it's 2.13 only. Uh, right. Okay. So 2.13, it will be kilometer or what unit? What unit will it be? Kilometer. kilometer Deepika, do you think what I what I did is correct? Do you think what I did is correct? Ma'am, I wrote as uh, one point two eight kilometers. How did you get 1.28? I I wrote that. Yeah, how did you get that? You must have definitely worked out and then got uh, it. Right? One second, ma'am. I, I did it in a notebook, I remember. Yeah. I get it once. Yeah. Then how did you go 2.13, into 4? Yeah, 0.53 into 4 is 2.13. You will get 2.12, something like that. I've rounded off and I wrote 2.13. Oh, I got 2.13. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, you you must have, you didn't get the next number. That's ma Yes? Ma'am, uh, it's that... Uh, we have to find the distance, right? Yes. So I, uh, I think I did. Uh, I actually think what you did is correct. Can you just tell me what you did? Um, I just multiplied four into thirty-two. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you do it once? No, 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 no. Got it, got it, got it. So this is the correct answer, actually. Four into thirty-two is uh, wrong because you forgot to convert okay yeah so 2.13 it will be kilometer per hour or just kilometer ma'am just kilometer this will be the distance is this question clear to all of y'all yes ma'am can we go to the next question yes ma'am yes, ma Okay, so Sam takes 18 hours. So just let's note down what are the uh, like um, information that is given. So it takes 18 hours. So time is going to be 18 hours over here. To reach America, covering a distance of, so the distance is 13,000 kilometer. I've asked what the speed of the flight is. What is the formula for speed? Distance divided by time. So it will be 13,000 divided by 18. Is this correct? Is this correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So two nines are 18, two six are 12. 
I'm doing this. I can directly write the answer, but I'm doing it to show you all how the division is done. So two nines are eighteen, two sixes are twelve, two fives are ten, zero is zero. Then do it with me. Tell me what tables will come. Nine sixes are fifteen. Nine sixes are fifteen. <laughs> Subtract. Tell me the answer. Ma'am, two. Nine two is eighteen. Again, nine two is eighteen. So we we'll keep on going. So seven twenty two point two. What will the unit be? What will the unit be? Per hour. What per hour? Kilometers per hour. This is how you do it. This is the correct answer. Am I clear? Is this clear? Anybody wants me to explain it again? Guys, is the sum no, clear? No, it's clear. It's clear. Clear, man. Next sum. Okay. Um, Tina finishes playing basketball in two hours. Studies for an hour and works out for forty-five minutes. What is the total time spent in all the activities? So we know that the basketball. Is for two hours. Study for one hour and workout forty-five minutes. So total, everybody got this right. Total, we know two hours is how many minutes? One eighty. Sixty. So one eighty plus sixty plus forty five. Run two hours equals one twenty minutes. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Ashurya. Okay, everybody got this right, anyways. Okay, so let's go to the next question. You travel at a speed of seven point five kilometer per hour and reach the destination in one twenty five minutes. How far did you travel? So how far means what are they asking you to find? Man, distance. 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 What is the distance equals to? Speed into time into speed. Time into time into speed. Time. So what is the time given? Time is one twenty-five minutes, and the speed given seven point five kilometer per hour. What should I do first? Ma'am, convert the minutes into hours. The one twenty-five divided by sixty. So five twos are ten. Five fives are twenty-five. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. So twenty-five by twelve. Around two point zero eight. Okay, everybody, do it. Work it out and tell me if you're getting this answer. I want all of you to do it. One twenty-five divided by sixty. Everybody is getting two point zero eight. Only if you all are telling yes, I can go to the next problem. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All of y'all. If anybody else yes, is having doubt in, okay. If anybody else is getting any doubt in division or anything, tell me. I'll do it again and show it to y'all. Um, can you do one change? The division. 
Yes, I think the division of okay. so one twenty five by sixteen. We know that five twelve are sixty and five twenty five are one twenty five. We'll do this if you want. So twelve ones are twelve, twelve twos are twenty four. One zero point. It's gonna be a zero, and put a point. Put a, add a zero over here. So what is twelve eights are? Scientifics like that. Got it? So it is two point zero eight. Now the distance is equal to time into speed. We got the time is two point zero eight multiplied by speed, which is seven point five. So if you multiply two point zero eight into seven point five, you will get around fifteen point six two five kilometers. Sorry, what unit should come over here? KM. KM. Some people had written only fifteen point six. Some wrote only fifteen. For them, also given marks. Okay. So this is the answer for this question. Is this question clear? Yes. Fifth question. Shruti gets a bus to get back home from school in fifteen minutes, covering a distance of seven point two kilometers. What is the distance from home to school? So, if you all um, like actually think carefully and use your brains, you can easily answer this. There is no working in the question. Listen to it again carefully. Shruti gets a bus to get back home. So, this is her school. This is her house. Okay. So, Shruti is getting a bus from school to get back home. Okay. Listen carefully. Shruti gets a bus to get back home from school in fifteen minutes. The distance is seven point two kilometers. I've given. What is the distance from home to school? So home to school and school to home, both the distance are same. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, it's seven point two kilometers. Seven point two kilometers. Only very few have got it right. So I'll just use your brains. You have written. This is already given in the question. You just need to use your brains and write it. Seven point two kilometers is the answer. Ma'am, my daughter answer is one point eight kilometers per hour. How did you get that? Mama used the formula speed equals distance per time. I asked you what is the distance from home to school. Why did you find the speed? So this is what happens when you don't read the question properly. So seven point two is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. Wendy covers a distance of so the distance. Is eighty three kilometers by driving at a speed of eight point three kilometers per hour. How long did she take to reach the destination? How long means what are you supposed to find? Time. What is the formula? Distance divided by time. Speed. Distance is eighty-three, eight point three into ten into ten to remove the decimal. You get eight thirty by eight three. Then, what unit will it be? R. This is the answer. So most simplest sum this is, and still a lot of y'all got it wrong. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anybody has a doubt in this sum? Ma'am. Yes, ma Yukta runs at a speed of. 
3.2 kilometer per hour. How much distance will she cover in three hours? So time is three hours. So I've clearly given, sorry, the speed. Uh, so here, again, if you use your brain, you can easily do it. Even if you don't need formula and all, it's like super easy. Like if you uh, like think itself, you'll know how no, the formula is. Hour. Yeah. See, uh, you all might think how this formula came. So how is this distance speed into time? So look over here carefully. 3.2 kilometer per hour means per one hour, just in one hour, Yukta is covering 3.2 kilometers. Same thing applies everywhere. 7.5 kilometer per hour means in one hour, 7.5 kilometers is covering. So here in one hour, 3.2 means in three hours, how much? 3 into... Ma'am, it's 9.6. 9.6 will be the answer. What will the unit be? 9.6 hours. Six kilometers. Six kilometers. 9.6 kilometers because you're finding the distance. Clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Preeti walks for 10 minutes to reach. So just do a mind map. Preeti walks for 10 minutes. From to reach the bus stop from her office. So she has her office here to the bus stop. She takes 10 minutes. Okay. At a speed of 1 kilometer per hour, she's taking to reach there. And she gets a bus traveling at a speed of 5 kilometer per hour to reach her house in 15 minutes. Calculate the distance between Preeti's office to her house. So you need to find the distance between office to bus stop and the distance between the bus stop to her house and add both of them. Is it clear till here? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, well, first you need to calculate this. So what is the distance formula? Speed into time. Time into speed. Is it correct? Mom, time into speed. Time into speed. So you know that the time is 10 minutes. And the speed is 1 kilometer per hour. Brilliant people, you all are. You must have multiplied directly 10 into 1. But you should know you should convert 10 minutes into hours. So 10 by 60. I have 0 0.16. 0 0.16 into 1, which is again 0 0.16 kilometers. This is the distance from the office to the bus stop. Cool. Now we need to find the distance over here. Again, we know distance equals to time into speed. So time is 15 minutes into speed, which is 5 kilometer per hour. We need to convert 15 divided by 60. Hmm. Which will be 0 0.25. 0 0.25 into 5. Which will be 1.25. One. Oh, yeah. one one because 0 0.25 into 4 is only 1. Okay. Yeah. So one. Now you know you're supposed to add 0 0.16 and 0 0.25. Which will be? Which will be? Uh, uh, one point four one. Kilometer. This is the answer, and none of y'all got it. Some have written eighty five. Some have written one not four. It's just to one point four kilometers. I don't know how you all got all these funny answers, but this is how you're supposed to do it. Is it clear? Yeah, I think I got it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next, last question. How many meters is there in 72.78 kilometers? 
One kilometer is how many meter? Thousand. So seven point two eight into thousand. You need to do. It will move one, two, three. Because three zeros, so it will be seven two seven eight zero. Not just seven two seven eight. Many of you wrote just seven two seven eight, and I'm not giving your marks. At the paper also wrote seven two seven eight. Seven two seven eight zero. I don't know where the zero went. It's all careless mistakes. So this is the answer. Is it clear, all of you all? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Any doubts, anybody? Uh -huh. No, no. Uh, ma'am, so I just got here two mistakes, but I got 21 out of 30. Yeah, you got only two mistakes. Yes, ma'am, but I got still 21 out of 30. Wait, I'll make it. Just give me one minute. Hello? So the rotation at the trigger. So, anything important? In match, then why are you going? Get a glucose packet or something and have. Okay. Are you fine? Just just sit and have water, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit and have some water. Take care of your health and then we work out and all. Okay. Sure, sure. Bye, bro. Bye. Yeah, Aishwarya. Uh, what are the sums that you did wrong according to your calculation? Uh, yes, from the ninth one and the yeah, sixth one and the ninth one. Wait, I'll just tell you what all you made mistake. Okay, I won't give any marks for this. Sorry, sir. I think I mismatched your mark with Deepika's. because so, so sorry. Uh, it's two point one three is the correct answer. Okay. Oh, we have got um, many mistakes. Just give me one minute, uh, Ashwarya. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Oh, how is it? 2.13, can you explain? Yeah, Ram. Here the question is, Ram travels at a speed of 4 km per hour and reaches the destination in 32 minutes. So many of you all just multiplied 4 into 32, but you have to convert 32 into hours. So 32 into hours, so if you convert, you will get 2 point, sorry, if you convert, you will get 0 0.53. 0 0.53 into 4, because it is distance is equal to time into speed. 0 0.53 into 4 is 2.13. Okay, Ram. But I got 2.12. That's what I'm telling you, know, if 2.12, 2.13, round off. Doesn't matter. Oh. So your first two digits should be correct. That's more important. Uh, yeah, Aishwarya, uh, your last question, I detected mark because you forgot to add the unit. Oh, okay. Okay, and so my marking is correct. You forgot to add the unit. And uh, that uh, Preeti's question, you've written 1.42, but it's actually 1.41. And the another mistake that you did is, uh, that, uh, yeah, uh, Shruti gets a bus back home. Which question is that? Yeah, this question. This question is wrong. So you three mistakes. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it uh, uh, was correct. Mom, can you have the third question? Mom? Which question? Can you just tell me what question it is? The third one. This one? Yes, ma'am. You want me to explain it? So you want me to explain it?
Who asked for the third question? Guys, who is the one who asked me the third question? Was it Saumya? Respond, no? Do you only ask him, no, Saumya? Okay, anyways, uh, are you clear with the third question, Samia? I want me to explain it. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Can you explain me? Which question? One third question. Okay, so third question I've given you the time taken for Sam to reach America is 18 hours, covering a distance of 13,000 kilometers. Just you need not convert anything. Basic, you, you just need to apply the formula. You know that the formula is speed is equal to distance by time. Distance is 13,000, time is 18 hours. 13,000 by divided by 18 is 722.2. You want me to do the division? Or is it clear? I don't know why half of y'all just follow your answers. Y'all just don't respond anyways. Ma'am? Yes? Ma'am, uh, decimals is my problem, ma'am. Sorry? Decimals is my problem, ma'am. Yes, you want me to teach you decimals? Yes, ma'am, I don't know decimals. Okay. One minute. So it's nothing, uh, Adya, it's just Let's just start with a very simple sum, okay? So now, 37 divided by 2, okay? Now do the division, Adya. 2? Adya? Adya, I'm teaching you only over here. Ma'am, am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. My mic is not um, okay. properly. Now answer me. Two ones are. Two ma'am. Okay. Subtraction then. One ma'am. All it come. What is the number of here? Ma'am. Two eggs are Very good. Two eggs are? 16, ma'am. 16. Now we need to make sure the remainder is zero. Okay. Or we need to do it until we get a decimal. So now you just put a decimal over here. So each des this decimal point denotes that you should add a zero. Okay. So you put a decimal point over here and add a zero. Now do this, this thing. 10. 10. What will you do right over here now? Towards the ten. Are there two towards the ten? Are there? Ma'am, five. Yeah, two is a ten. Two five is a ten. So now you got zero. So 18.5 is your answer. This is how you do decimals. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, by you keep practicing, you will get it. Okay, no worries. Is this clear to all of y'all? All the mm -hmm. sums, homework sums and everything. Yes, now let's do the homework sum. 
okay so many of you all have sent me and some of you so i'll do the homework some over here so you all can check if your answers are correct so sam finishes his exam in school in 1 hour and goes to play football for 45 minutes then he leaves home in his cycle pedaling at a speed of 7 km per hour to reach his house in 30 minutes he then leaves for tuition by bus which takes him 20 minutes to cover 4.2 km so first question calculate the time spent by sam at school in minutes so at school you know that the time spent by him is 1 hour for studying that is doing his exam and then goes to play football for 45 minutes so time spent at school is equals to time spent for exam plus football which is equals to 1 hour plus 45 minutes i clearly given you i need to answer in minutes which is equals to 60 plus 45 what is 60 plus 45 One or five. One or five minutes. One or. This is your first answer. Okay. How many of you all got it correct from the homework? Many. How many of you all got it wrong? Nobody got it wrong. Just shocking. Okay. So at what speed did the bus travel? So here. then he leaves home through his cycle so he's not using the bus over here okay here he leaves for tuitions by bus which takes him 20 minutes and 4.2 kilometers so we know that the distance is 4.2 kilometer and the time is 20 minutes and you know what he is supposed to do over here What are you supposed to find over here? We should find the speed. Speed. Speed equals to distance divided by time. What are you supposed to convert time, right? Yes. Should we convert or not? Yes. Yes. Please. Yeah. So twenty divided by sixty, which will be zero point three three. One by two, three by six. One by three is zero point three three. Okay. Now distance distance divided by time. So it will be four point two divided by zero point three three. So you can multiply it by hundred if you want to remove the decimals. So it will be four twenty divided by. Thirty-three. You will get around thirty-three. One's are thirty-three. So one, you can do it like this. Thirty-three. Two's are sixty-six. Okay, now you put a point because you need a zero over here. Put a point. Thirty-three into seven is two thirty-one. Get something like that. So twelve point seven is your answer. No one got the same. Yeah, very good. So twelve point seven kilometer per hour. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So next is. What is the total distance from Sam's school to his tuition? So, from his school, from his school to his tuition. So here, you know clearly, Sam finishes his exam this much time. Then he leaves home. So again, I'm doing a mind map. Look over here carefully. I just uh, take the question over here. So it will be easier for you. At the distance from the school to home and from home to tuition. Yes, very good. That's what you're supposed to do. 
So, uh, school to home equals 3.5 kilometers and home to tuition is 4.2. So, so, we know from school, Sam is going to reach his house. Right? He's using a cycle. He's going. Pedaling at a speed of 7 km per hour to reach his house in 30 minutes. And here, from the Seven house, he's reaching his uh, tuition, which is again, he reaches in 20 minutes and 4.2. But we already know the distance over here. Distance. We already found the distance, which is? 4.2 kilometers. Which is 2, 12, 4.2 kilometers. Ah, yeah. 4.2 kilometers. It is already given in the question. So, we need to find the distance over here. So, we can add it with 4.2. So, we know the distance formula is equals to? Speed into time. Into time, which is, you need to convert the time. So 30 divided by 6 hours. 0 0.5 hours. 0 0.5. So it will be 7 into 0 0.5. Equals 3.5. 3.5 plus 4.2. 7 7.7. 7.7. 7.7. Okay. And now the answer for D is 3.5. Okay, I hope all of you have got this answer. The last question is, how far is Sam's house from his school? That is over here. Which you have already found. Which is, oh shit, sorry. You have already found over here. 3.5 kilometers. That is the last answer. I hope all of you have got the answer somewhat. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Yes, da. Ma'am, I got twelve point six in B one. In this question. This one. Yes, ma'am. B. At twelve point six, sir. But uh, just a small calculation mistake you've done. It'll come twelve point seven only because thirty three sevens are only two thirty one. You can't go to a number less than that. So check again. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, when you will start the next lesson? After tomorrow, we'll start the next lesson. Ma'am, what is the next lesson? You will see tomorrow.
Note down all the homework, everybody. Ma'am, uh, yes. Uh, after drawing class, what is there? Okay, I'll just read the First question. First line. Okay, I'll read the whole question. Sort of spends an hour at drawing class. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's supposed to be and, but I don't add. So Saurav spends an hour at drawing class and gets home at a speed of 11 km per hour through bike to reach in 47 minutes. He then does his homework of three and a half hours and goes to tuition by bus to reach in 27 minutes, traveling at a speed of 7 km per hour. First question, calculate the distance from Saurav's home to tuition. Second is, what is the time spent by him in doing homework in minutes you need to find? Okay. So, what is the distance between his school to tuition is your last question. So, noted the homework you can do. If there's any doubt, please ask me. Mom? Yes? Mom, in the seabed, what is the distance after what is it? Sorry? Mom, in the seabed, after distance, what is it? Between, between, between. Okay. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. One minute, guys. I hope there are no other new students. It's only Divyesh, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. No, I just checked if there are any other new students. Uh, bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. Bye, ma'am.
मैम मैं कंप्लीट करने ली मैडम थैंक यू मैम बाय मैम बाय 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 मैम बाय बाय Next of your still writing, Ashwat Adya. Ashwat completed. Mm, Three minutes. Okay. Bye ma'am thank you ma'am bye